The Board of Deans of Maastricht University, on the recommendation of its faculties and after consultation with the University Council, has decided to award an honorary doctorate to Frans Timmermans in recognition of his outstanding achievements. Europe is and will be put to the test as a result of global political, economic and social challenges. It is our duty as politicians and public servants to make sure that the instruments our constituents, European citizens, have put in our trust are used better to fulfill their expectations. Franz Timmermans' role as Vice President of the newly established Juncker Commission is crucial in taking the European integration process forward. He is in charge of important portfolios such as better regulation, the rule of law and fundamental rights, sustainable development and relations with other EU institutions. Furthermore, he coordinates the work of the Commissioners for Justice, Consumers and Gender Equality and for Migration and Home Affairs. This is a huge package with a great amount of responsibilities. Il est l'ancien ministre des Affaires étrangères des Pays-Bas. Era un membro della Commissione Europa, assegnato alla stesura della Costituzione Europea. Anschließend wurde er Staatssekretär für europäische Angelegenheiten. Sinds november 2014 is Frans Timmermans vicepresident van de Europese Commissie. May I invite Professor Sophie van Honacker and Professor Aalt Willem Heringia and of course Mr. Timmermans to come to the forefront and to fulfill the duty they have been charged with. In a fast-changing international political environment and at times of increasing populism and euroscepticism, it is crucial that we have politicians who are ready to stand up for their ideals and convictions. Politicians who can swim against the current and go the distance. Frans Timmermans is such a person. He's a man of remarkable vision and a good communicator. As such, he is one of the best people equipped to play a leading role in the campaign to try to overcome what appears to be an increasing gap between the need for stronger collective governance structures and a disenchanted European electorate. Given that we are a European university with the largest cohort of students of European law and European studies in the world, and since we are based in the most European of cities, indeed a city where treaties are signed, it seemed very natural to us that we should confer the award of honorary doctorate on Frans Timmermans. Considering his many impressive qualities, Frans' support for football team Roda JC, rather than MVV Maastricht, is only a minor sin, <laughs> which we are more than happy to forgive. <laughs> By the authority vested on us by law and in conformity with the decision of the Board of Deans, we hereby confer upon you, Frans Timmermans, the degree of Doctor Honoris Causa and all the rights deriving therefrom by law and tradition. As evidence of this, we present to you the degree certificate signed by the Rector, the Deans of the Faculties of Arts and Social Sciences and Law, and ourselves, and are fixed with the great seal of the University and we put upon your shoulders the kappa, which signifies the honor bestowed upon you.
Thank you very much, and I have to say I'm, I'm very moved and, and deeply honoured. Um, this university is a place I've been very often. Um, I came here to teach, to learn, uh, because the biggest gift you get as a teacher is that you get to learn from your students. Uh, and especially in the city I was born, um, in the presence of my mother, uh, my wife and two of my children. It is such a wonderful honor to feel the appreciation of an academic community that was created on the basis of the hard labor of my grandfathers who were coal miners. And this university and everything it has achieved is also thanks to the hard work of the coal miners in Limburg and it is to them that I want to dedicate this wonderful honor. Thank you very much. <laughs>